Hi, it's Kylie. You know, you might be feeling really small today, or you might be feeling really big. Either way, when we're together and we express ourselves through art, it's powerful. So what do you say? Will you join me? You will? Awesome. You know, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Come on. Oh, hi. Sorry, were you waiting for me very long? I was just on the most amazing bike ride. Do you have a bike? My bike has two wheels. Dax has a bike that has two wheels on the back and one wheel on the front. Three. His is small and mine is big. Because he's small and I'm big. I love riding bikes. I always have. I remember this one time when I was a kid. We had just moved to a new house and I took my bike out for the first time on the road and I didn't even know where the road went yet. And I was with my brother and I remember I came around this corner on my bike and the road turned into this gradual hill and so I didn't even need to pedal, I just was coasting. And as I coasted around the curve, there was a lake on one side and a lake on the other side it was this magical, beautiful feeling. I felt like I was flying. I felt like a bird. <laughs> it was so fun. I love bikes. Hey, I have a friend named Ben who has a bike shop. Would you want to go see him with me? All right, let's go. Today, we are in Anderson, Indiana at Buckskin Bikes, and we're going to talk to my friend Ben, who owns a store and who fixes and makes bikes. Aren't you excited? Let's go inside. Hello, Hi, ben. how are you? Come on, we're good. Come on in. Wow, it's amazing in here. There are so many different kinds of bikes. We try to keep a lot of different types because we see a lot of different people and people ride bikes all different places, right? That's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about the different kinds of bikes and what makes them different? Totally. So one of the big differences that you can see on a lot of bikes are the tires, right? Yeah. So this one here, if you look, is really bumpy and knobby. And this is really good for gripping the dirt and grass when you're riding off road, right? Ooh. So we call this a mountain bike. A mountain bike. Something over here you could see. Yeah, look, this one here, it's about the same size, but it's much smoother, right? So that makes it roll faster and smoother on the sidewalk or on a bike path. Awesome. So we've got big bikes, we've got little bikes, we've got bikes with flat handlebars like this one, and we've got bikes with curly handlebars, drop handlebars like that. Tell me about this blue bike back here because I see something funny about it. Yeah, what, well, first of all, what's funny about it? I see two seats, two sets of pedals, and two handlebars. Yep, that means two people can ride it. That is so fun. What is your favorite bike in this whole shop? Well, my favorite is my own bike, oh, right? Can we see it? Totally, it's right over here. So wow. I'm pretty tall, so this is a pretty tall bike, right? Yeah. But where do you think I ride this bike? Hmm, let's look at the tires and see if we can tell where Ben rides mm -hmm. his bike. All right, are they smooth or bumpy? Bumpy. And 
they look a little dirty, which tells me that Ben rides his bike in the dirt and the grass. Is this a mountain bike? This is a mountain bike, that's wow. right. So it's a lot of fun to ride. And another thing you might notice, kind of like that blue one we just looked at, mine has two seats. Now, it only has one set of pedals though. Hmm. So what do you think happens here? Well, two people must ride it. Yes. Who is the second person? My son, Charlie, rides with me. Charlie? He's only five, and so he just gets to come along for a ride. He just sits here, and his feet go right here, and his hands go right here, and he just gets to come along for the ride. So we go to school that way, and we ride mountain bike trails that way, too. It's that really is fun. so fun. Hi, Charlie. Your <laughs> bike is awesome. Do you guys think you would like to ride a bike like this to school? Oh yeah. That sounds super awesome. Ben fixes bikes, makes bikes, does all sorts of things with bikes in his workshop. Ben, would you show us your workshop? Absolutely, it's right back here, come on. Welcome to Ben's workshop. Ben, show us all the parts of this amazing bike. Absolutely, yeah. So bikes are cool because there's all types of parts on a bike and they all have their own name, right? So this part here, the main part, we call a frame, right? Because it's real strong and it holds all the other pieces together. Some of the parts you may already know, right? Like this. Wheel. Yep. And then also, how about these? Handlebars. Yep, that's it. <laughs> and we put grips on the end, and that way you can hold on real good and your hands don't slip. This here, this is a brake lever, and we can pull that, and when you pull it, it makes the brake down here move, and that grabs on the wheel. So watch, if I spin the wheel, and grab that brake, it makes you stop. I never so, knew that's how that worked. It's pretty cool. They work on cables, right? See the little piece of wire here? Yeah. That's how brakes work on bicycles. This here, this is our chain, right? And this is what makes the back wheel go. So these here are your pedals, and that's where your feet go. So as you move your pedals, it turns the chain, and it makes the back wheel rotate, and that's what pushes you forward. Whoa! So your pedals make you go, and the brakes make you stop. So you have a lot of control over how you go. That's forward and back, right? The other yeah. part about riding a bike is turning. An important part. An important part, part. <laughs> yep. So that happens right here. So we have our frame that we talked about. The front part of the frame, we call it a fork because it's got two tongs, kind of like a... A fork. A, like a fork, yep. And then the wheel goes into the fork. And right here, you can turn your handlebars. And we have a set of bearings in here. Bearings are a thing that's in a lot of bicycles. Let me get some, I'll show you. Okay. Actually, here's a nice big one. So this oh. is a bearing, and it has little balls on it. And what it does is it allows the two pieces to roll smooth against each other. So we have lots of bearings in bicycles. That's a really common part. Cool. Let's take the wheel off. First thing we're gonna need is a wrench. Wrench. And that will help us loosen these nuts on the side of the wheel. We'll do both sides. So we'll loosen this the rest of the way. And then we can Whoa! take the wheel all the way off the bike. Can I hold it? Absolutely. Ben, what are some things that we should check before we go on a bike ride on our bikes? That's a great question. Uh, it's really easy. There's three things that you should look at every time you get on your bike. And they're so easy to remember because it's A, B, and C, right? Letters we're pretty familiar with. <laughs> so the first one, A, is for air. A you always want to make air. sure there's good air in your tires. How do you know? Great question. Every tire will tell you. It will tell you a number on the side of it, and that's how much air pressure you should put inside. But as a general rule, if you can squeeze it and it feels really hard, that's good, you're ready to ride. But if you squeeze it with your hands and it's kind of soft and squishy, you're probably gonna wanna put some air in it because that's the best way to prevent a flat. Cool. Yep. B, pretty easy as well, B is for brakes. You always wanna make sure your brakes are working because if you can't stop, it makes it hard to go, right? Or it makes it dangerous to go. <laughs> so these that's look good. These look good, that's air, brakes, and then C, chain. So you gotta make sure you can stop. You also gotta make sure you can go. 
So you wanna make sure your chain isn't too loose or falling off or broken or too rusty or anything like that. Um, and so if those three things are all working, your air, your brakes, and your chain, you're probably ready to ride. That's awesome. A, B, C, air, brakes, and chains. Ben, what do you like about bikes and why do you like making them? I like bikes because they're people powered. It people powered. Yeah, this bike doesn't go anywhere on its own, right? Right. But as soon as you put your energy into it, you can go all the way across town or all the way across the world. It's really cool to me that bikes help people get other places way faster than you could ever do on your own feet. True. But it also doesn't need any of the things that a car needs, like gasoline and all of those big, expensive, difficult things. On a bike, you can just do it yourself. It just needs us. Just people. There's so many details and colors and shapes on these bikes. It's amazing art. There's all kinds of fun pieces, yeah. It's really cool. And one of the fun things that you can do actually, when we have broken parts that we can't really use for bicycles anymore, you can totally take those pieces and make all kinds of other stuff out of it. Like what? Well, I have a friend and he makes jewelry. So look at these. Here's some earrings that he made. What? And they have, well, you tell me, what do you think that is on there? Hmm. It looks like pieces of this chain. That's exactly right. So he takes chain pieces and makes jewelry out of it. That I also so have cool. seen other people that took wheels and put glass in here and made stained glass pieces out of wheels. They took pieces of bikes and made them into all kinds of art. Yeah. Do you think that's something you and your friends would be interested in? I've got some I've got some old parts out back if you guys wanted to take them to your studio. What do yes. you think? Yes, yes, a huge yes. We want to do that, right? Cool. All right, let's see what you got. Let's check them out. So out here, this is where we put all of our old bikes that we take pieces off of. Wow! Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So we call this the junkyard, and we come out here and find parts and pieces, because sometimes they don't make what we need anymore if we're working on old bikes, or sometimes parts are just unavailable. Yeah. So sometimes we have to get creative, but also this is where we find pieces to make art with. Let's look around. And let's see what else we got here. Oh, here's an old seat. Whoa. I don't know how much art, oh look, it had water in it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we can come up with something. Who knows? Let's see, oh look, here's just handlebars. Oh wow, oh wow. So you can see the old cables. Remember we talked about cables earlier? Yeah. Are you getting some art ideas out here? Ben, thank you so much for having us here at your shop, Buckskin Bikes in Anderson, Indiana. If people want to learn more, yep. where can they go? We have a website, buckskinbikes.com. We that's, try to keep it pretty easy. That's yeah. easy to remember. Yeah, so check us out. We're on social media as well. Cool. But I really hope you have fun with this stuff. I hope you make some cool things. I can't wait to see what you and your friends come up with. We can't either. All right, here you go. Thank you so have much. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Let's go to the studio. Come on. Welcome to the studio. Wasn't that so fun and interesting with Ben at Buckskin Bikes? I learned so much about bikes and I saw so many different kinds of bikes that I didn't even know existed before. I love riding my bike and now I'm gonna love it even more because I know the ABCs of how to be safe and I also know all the parts of how it works. So cool. I put all of the bike parts we got from Ben out on my table in my studio. Plus some other things I found. Uh, glue, pliers, wire, we have metal plates and washers, bolts and nuts, and I even found these little reflectors like you have on real bikes. So excited to make um, whatever we're making. Usually when I make art, I know what I want to make first, and then I decide how I'm going to make it and what I'm going to make it out of based on what the, I want the final product to be. This is kind of fun because it's going the other way. We're starting with our materials and then deciding what we're going to make based on the materials we have. That's fun. 
Okay, so it's time to get creative. We have this bike seat, which is still wet from being outside at Buckskin Bikes. That's kind of fun. Uh, we have handlebars with some cables and, oh, another reflector, some brakes. Hmm. We have this great big tire rim. What shape is that? A circle. And what's really cool about this tire rim is it has all these little holes in it where the spokes from the wheel would normally go. I bet we can do something with that. We have pedals from the bike. And I took apart these gears. And these are the little things that went in between the gears so that they could turn. I like their kind of yellowy orange color. That kind of matches those reflectors. Do you have any ideas yet? Let's think about bikes. How does riding a bike make you feel? Remember that story I told you in the purple chair at the very beginning of today about riding my bike around that corner for the first time when I was a kid? And how the corner went down really gradually into a hill? And how I could quit pedaling and just coast down the hill? And I saw those amazing lakes and I felt so free like a... Do you remember? Like a bird. What if we used all of these bike parts and different things that I found to make a sculpture of a bird? Not quite sure how we're gonna do it yet, but I'm ready to figure it out. Are you? All right. I like this big circle as kind of a frame. Do you think that's a good idea? Like if we put it up and it helped hold all the pieces of our sculpture? I love that idea. And what if we used these petals to help it stay in place once our bird was on it? Yeah, I'm going to use wire to attach, <laughs> to attach these petals to the frame. I think this is an incredible start. Now we have our frame. I think it's time to make our birds wings. Wouldn't these handlebars be an amazing start for the bird wings? I think so. I'm going to use more wire to attach the handlebars to our frame. All right, we have our bird wings. What should we use for our bird's head? Do you see anything kind of triangle shaped? What if we attached the bike seat so it looked like the head of our bird? I think this is a good idea. Now that the main frame of our bird is done, I put her up on the easel so that you would be able to see her easier as we work on her in the studio together. Can you imagine the bird yet? Can you see it? 
This is her head and she's facing this way. These are her majestic wings. If you can't see it yet, that's okay. It's just in my imagination for now. But part of the amazing part of art is you can take an idea that's in your imagination and have other people see it. Like, see it with their eyes. Speaking of seeing, I think this bird needs an eye, don't you? I think I wanna use all these cool circle things that I have to make an eye. I'm gonna start with a gear. I'm going to be attaching my pieces together with hot glue because I love hot glue. <laughs> At me. Hello, or should I say, tweet tweet. <laughs> Can you make a bird sound? That's amazing. Okay, let's make her body. I mean, we have to use this, right? We made her tail feathers out of some chain. Is it starting to look more like a bird? Head, eye, body, tail feathers, and wings. I hope you're starting to see it like I imagine it. I attach these two metal plates that have holes in them to the handlebars. Now I'm going to use all this cable that we got from Ben to make wings. It's finished. Friends, this might be one of my favorite sculptures I have ever made. Thank you so much for helping me with it. I love all the shapes and lines. I love how random it is. <laughs> and I love that it reminds me what it feels like to ride on a bike. Do you recognize some of the parts that Ben showed us on a bike in the sculpture? Can you find a gear? Yeah, there's gears right here and here and here. Can you find a bike chain? Oh yeah, we use bike chains for the tail feathers and it's here on the big wings too. There's lots of cables from the bike all throughout the wings. These feathers came from the inner tube that goes inside of your tire that you fill up with air. Of course, there's the bike seat that we used for the head and the handlebars that we used for the wings and the rim of the tire for our frame. I am so excited to show this to Ben from Buckskin Bikes and see what he thinks. Let's take a picture and send it right now. Hey, Kylie and friends, that sculpture is awesome. I'm so impressed with what you guys did. Thank you so much for coming to our store. It was great to have you here and you're welcome back anytime. Ben loved our sculpture. That is so cool. Ben, we had so much fun. And then we had so much fun in the studio together. But I am guessing that at home, you don't have a bunch of bike parts laying around. 
I mean, maybe you do, but I know I don't usually. So you might be wondering, what can I make after this show? Let me tell you. I challenge you to an art bag mystery challenge. Mm -hmm. Get a bag put some random stuff in it, or have someone else put some random stuff in there for you. Maybe a grown-up or a sibling if you have one, a friend, a teacher. And then your challenge is to make some art only with the things in that bag. That's the creative challenge. Let's see what's in this one. Whoa! Very rolly. Now that I got my beads under control, let's see what's in here. We got some pipe cleaners, crayons, beads, <laughs> tape, scissors, and post-it notes. Now, extra points in the challenge if you use the things in a way that you wouldn't typically use them. Just like we used a bike chain to make a tail for our bird. That's not normally what bike chains are used for. I'm gonna start, I think, by making a nice background for whatever we make here. And maybe by putting my beads somewhere nice and safe. Hmm. Those kind of look like <gasps> wheels. We should make a bike. All right. Um, Let's see, maybe we could use the crayons as part of the sculpture instead of just drawing with them. Okay, and these will be the wheels. Two wheels. This is a bike we're making with our imagination. So what could we use the pipe cleaners for? Because this is art, we can make it look like anything we want. So um, wouldn't it be pretty cool to have a bike that could fly? <laughs> like with wings on it? Let's do it. This is so funny. And look, there's a little bit of the crayon left, so it kind of can write as it drives or flies. Whoa. Cool. Or this way too. Maybe you start riding this bike by pedaling it on the wheels, and then you pedal faster, 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 and all this talk about bikes makes me want to go on another bike ride. Come on, let's go. What a fun day. We went to Buckskin Bikes and learned all about bikes. Then we came back to the studio and made some bike part art. And then I gave you an art bag mystery challenge. The only thing left to do now is ride. Helmet up. And we're off. See you next time. Want to make more things together? Me too. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. Search Kylie Makes It for lots of fun art videos. Also, parents and educators, go to kyliemakesit.com. I have lots of things for you too. Like this video and subscribe.